What's up, folks? So today, we're going to do a video with none other than my favorite dog in the whole wide world. Come on out, Bert. So, every hometown that's like mine, which is like a small hometown, there will be a bait shop that has all the baits that you can't find at Academy and Walmart and Diggs, Gander Mountain and all those places. That's where we're at today. GLL Marine in LaGrange, Georgia, hands down the best bait shop around. They are gonna let us come in and they're gonna let my dog, Berkeley. Bert, Bert! <laughs> Thought I'd done lost the star. Anyway, they're gonna let Berkeley pick out some baits and hopefully he picks out some good ones. Bert, come tell everybody, hey, look at the camera. Let's get this door to do it. Bert, I gotta wait for you to open the door. You know how to open it? You know how to open this? Uh, here you go. Go ahead and call him. There's a lot of dirty sandals out there this time of year, boys and girls, and that's why I stay strapped. Today's video is brought to us by Strapino. Guys, you can strap anything. You can strap your boat. You can strap a kayak. Guys, you can even strap me. Chris, help me, help me, Chris. They even make good Christmas presents. <laughs> Come on over here, little man. Tell me what you'd like to have for Christmas. Dad, I'm not, I'm not sitting on Santa's lap. You gotta sit on Santa's lap. No, Dad, I don't want to sit on Santa's lap. Santa, he doesn't want to sit down on your lap. <laughs> don't you worry about that, Dad. We've got something to make him sit still right here. Oh, whoa, whoa. I don't want to sit on your lap. Oh, goodness gracious. Listen, I tell you what, I've, I've got, got a little bit of Christmas magic. Now that we got you strapped in there, buddy, you know what you want for Christmas? I don't know what I want for Christmas, but these straps, they sure are nice. <laughs> I tell you what, I know just the place you can get them. And that magical little place that you can get them is right here. Every one of them that you've seen in today's video, guys, it's retractable. Retractable straps. Now back to today's video. So guys, we are inside of GLL Marine, hands down best bait shop in this area. They got a ton to choose from guys. They got all the top of the line rods, they got the top of the line reels, and they have a ton of baits that you're just not gonna find anywhere else. So, Burke, what would you like to fish with? Go ahead, touch something, and I'll buy it. All right, we gotta get you picking some baits, buddy. We can't come in here and not pick out any baits. It'd be a waste of trip. What are we gonna throw? Hey, is this it? Okay, all right. So how about a Bose Jigs, three fourths ounce, brown. I like it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. My dog knows what he's doing, that's all I can say. That's why he's my dog. Okay. All right, Burke, is this the one? So a Rappola DT6 Demon Crawl. We're gonna go ahead and grab a couple more of these because where I like to throw them, I get them hung up. Favorite colors this time of year, it's getting cold. And that's exactly what we want. Those three crawfish color on our river, it's over. Apostle okay. Lures, half ounce premium fishing tackle, by the way. Pretty much a chatterbait, guys. All right, buddy, what else? Okay. So, a super salt plus Z Hog green pumpkin. I think we can catch a fish on that. Is that it? Do we need anything else? All right, Bert, is this it? Is this the one? This is it? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Man knows what he wants. So Robo Worm Morning Dawn. Guys, if you don't know about this, it's because you haven't been paying attention. This bait is absolutely awesome when it comes down to something for finesse fishing. This is what you want. And Berkeley knows. I mean, come on, he's got a name like Berkeley. How would he not? Okay. A little swing impact. Fat Kytex. I'm thinking maybe an A-Rig. You guys know how I like throwing A-Rig, so. I think that's it, right? I mean, Berkeley's about to break my wallet in here. And the last thing I wanted to do is go over there and put his nose on one of those kayaks because they're like two grand. Let's go, Berkeley. Come on, big boy. All right. Are you happy with what you got? Are you happy with all that? Oh, my goodness. I think he's excited. Next time we see you, we'll be on the river with my good buddy. Peace. Let's ride, let's run. We're going to the river, son. I ain't kidding. This is going to be the best I ever done. I'm going to catch a show bass five pounds. I run this town. I turn it upside down. 
kind of like your frown. I think you're smiling <laughs> now. Let's head on out. That's it. I'm done. So we are making it up through the Widowmaker stretch right now, guys. They call this the Widowmaker stretch because this stretch makes widows. You may have heard that on another guy's channel, one of my good buddies. I call him, hey! All right, y'all, so I have tied on the jig that Berkeley has picked out, and he picked out an awesome jig for today because it is a, this thing's like a whole half ounce, and this water being up, you want something that's heavy enough to get this jig down to the bottom. Berkeley also picked out what we're gonna have to use as our trailer. Not my favorite by any means, but that, my friends, will work. This is called a Zoom Super Salt Plus Seahog Green Pumpkin. Berk, please don't fall in the water today, buddy. Ready? I think Berkeley's a little bit ready for us to catch a fish. Oh, so guys, I have gotten Berkeley's jig hung up. I'm afraid I'm gonna pop it off. Line. Ah, sorry, Berkeley. It's gone. What you got for us now? So we're gonna replace Berkeley's jig with a War Eagle 3 8 ounce. So it's not gonna be quite as heavy. I'm gonna have to slow down a lot. But a black and blue finesse jig, which is awesome for these shell bass. We're going to put it on. Yep. So we're gonna put on a. Super Speed Craw, Black Red Flake. That, so it mimics a crawfish? Yes, that's exactly what we're mimicking right now. Because they don't eat crawfish here at all. Hey, hey, if you've been watching the channel, you guys know that they eat crawfish on the Chattahoochee River. So that's our bait, guys. My confidence is also about to go through the roof, being able to throw a black bait. Because right now, these crawfish that are in this river are super duper dark. And I mean, the crawfish are dark. You want your bait, you Okay, 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 okay. Smalls, tell us how, how you got Berkeley. Well, Cameron Rickers, when a mommy dog and a daddy dog love each other very much, I just get <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so me and my wife wanted a, a dog. I didn't really want a big dog. She wanted a big dog to feel more protected in the house whenever she was alone. This is the biggest baby I've ever seen in my life. Like whenever somebody knocks on the door, he's like, woo! -hoo -hoo. You know, he's not he's not running around and biting anybody. So he, he's very big, but just not, he doesn't do anything. He's like a teddy bear, right? He's kind of like me. He's a big teddy bear for sure. He's an awesome dog though. So he's a Wamarana. The, when we first bought him, the, the lady that we bought him from told us that he would love the water as long as you have him around the water pretty early. So the first time I took him out, he was loving it and then he ends up falling in off the boat. Uh, it took a little while to build that back up. So far, so good. If I can catch a fish for you guys, you'll be able to see just how much Berkeley likes fish because he goes nuts when we finally get one on. I got bit on the jig a second ago, so I felt like it was about to be on, but I was wrong because it's actually off. It's a fish. Oh, I just saw one jump right here. Wow, how discouraging. I've been sitting here fishing for like 15 minutes, nothing. And then like right where 
I've been fishing, I see something come up and jump. That's kind of how it goes. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you just how excited Berkeley gets when I set the hook. I don't really have a fish on or anything. That was wrong. That was wrong. I shouldn't have done it that way. Maybe I. It ran from you. They all run from me. All the dogs. Back in your day, it was women too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened with Ashley, but I'm happy for you, brother. Well, Ashley's not real good. She don't have good eyesight. <laughs> She's almost blind. I love my wife to death. I've got an absolutely awesome marriage. Got two beautiful kids. I did, however, I was talking, I was introducing somebody to my wife the other day, and I was like, hey, this is my wife, Ashley. She married me for my money and my looks. She looked at the dude, she was like, yeah, I'm blind and broke. Said, wow. We need fish. I want to catch a fish. Uh, we're about to head on down river. We haven't caught anything at what I thought was going to be the honey hole. Nonetheless, I still need you guys to hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Miles, I've never been with you where we haven't caught a fish. Yeah, well, get ready, because today may be the day. <laughs> Guys, we've been out here about an hour, and I have yet to get a bite. Oh, you got a bite. You just didn't set the hook. I did get a bite, but no fish. Berkeley, you look frustrated. I am. My dad hasn't caught a fish. Got one. <laughs> yes, sir. Mr. Berkeley, get your bite. Guys, finally fish number one, a little large mouth. Let's sit down here and see what Berkeley thinks. What do you say, Bert? You approve? Are you Berkeley Smalls and you approve this message? Mm -hmm. So we had to make our way back up the river. I just floated down about 500 yards just putting that fish in the live well. We caught that fish, it wasn't a big fish, but we caught it on a War Eagle black and blue finesse jig, 3 8 ounce, paired up with a Zoom Speed Crawl red and black plate trailer. We're going to try to catch another one. That's one thing you're going to learn about me, guys. I'm in love with a jig. I absolutely love to throw a jig. Also, this time of year, from now on into like March, it's going to be perfect out here on the river. So, we're making our way up this little tail race to the powerhouse, but before we do, we're gonna stop where this little creek runs in, because this creek is always good for at least one fish. And I'm just gonna show it to you real quick. It's probably not gonna be a big one. If I had to guess, we're gonna catch like a two pounder right here. Got one. Maybe not two pounds, like I said, but that's the fish that I told you we could catch here. What do you think, Ricky? All right, let's go. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Wait, wait. All right, that's probably the one fish. In fact, I'm not even gonna make any more casts because I know that was the one fish. So, we're about to get over here to the powerhouse. I'm losing my balance a little bit, but that's okay. Let's go to his balance when you're on the boat. In the middle of a bunch of water. Troll us on out of this mouth. Guys, I really wanted to catch a big fish for you today. And so far, mm, la piña pequeña, if that's Spanish for small fish. No fish. I don't know what you think about that, Bert. Bert, you want fish sticks? That's for you. So a little fun fact about this little area for anybody that wants to steal my spots from watching the channel. Right here in front of this powerhouse is a shoal that comes up to probably three or four foot. 
and in the springtime, there will be some absolute giant bass bedding on that little shoal. I have another stupid question for you. All right. Why are you giving away all your secrets? Because this is fishing YouTube, guys, and there are no secrets. Oh, I lost him. You saw it. Powerhouse didn't really produce for us. We're on our way out, and I'm just going to fish my way out with this crankbait that Berkeley picked out. A little DT6 Rapala or Rapala or Rapala or Rapala, however you want to call it. Burke, you want to go fish the Russian water again? So guys, we have made it back up here to the Russian water, which is where I want to be. When I say Russian water, I'm not talking about water in Russia. I'm talking about Russian water. So we're about to do this thing. What you want to throw, Bert? You want to throw a jig? Oh. Okay. So, throw the jig. Nice choice, my friend, Berkeley. The jig was absolutely what that fish wanted. Nice spot. Get your chicken, check it out, Berkeley. All right, guys. So that's a pretty good spot right there. That spot's probably two pounds anyway. Gorgeous fish. Real dark green with some bright yellow in it. Absolutely gorgeous. I like it. Get them in the box. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I enjoy bringing my buddy out here with me. He gets to come fishing every now and then, and he absolutely loves it. I absolutely love bringing you, buddy. You enjoy coming? <laughs> All right, let's get these fish in the water. What do you say? What's in there? What's that? Hey, what is in here? What's in there? You like them? You want to see one? All right, buddy. You ready to let him go? Tell him bye. <laughs> this spotted bass is thick, man. Hey, look how pretty that fish is. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. <laughs> you guys be sure to hit like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Let me know if you guys want to see Berkeley in some more videos. I know he has enjoyed himself today. Either way guys, peace.